Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. In this video, we're going to create some lists of values, those drop-down lists that we typically see when we're entering data in a form. But before I do that, I'm logged in as the developer Diana, and I want to go over to Team Development, and I want to look at the to-do list, and I can look at all the to-dos, or I can look at it by assignee, but I'm going to click to-do. And this listing that we see here is a report or yeah, a report on data from a to-do table. So we have this interactive report. I can click a column and sort by that column. So any one of these column headings, this is just like in the uh, form and reports on tables that we've been creating in our application. I can come up here and filter if I want to. So I could add my own filter for Ben and see just his uh, to-do items and I can take that off. So this is exactly like the interactive reports we've been creating. But if I come down here and look at what Diana and Jan have been working on, I'm showing the progress such as create team form. It's 80% done. It's not completely done because we need to add a list of values. The workshop form, however, is completely done. So not in the videos, but between videos, I've been updating the to-do list. So let's go back to the application and let's complete the forms that need a list of values. A list of values or a drop-down list can be created for each individual form but it makes more sense to plan ahead, think about what types of lists you might use, and go to shared components. If you create them there, you can access them in any form. So create that one list of students or that one list of projects and then use it in any form that you need to. So I'm going to come to a list of values, uh, the user interface, and click on that. And then I want to create. We will create from scratch. And there are two types of LOVs. There's static, where you type in a value, a set of lists or a set of items on a list, uh, but you don't expect that list to change. That would be the only reason for you to use a static list. Typically, we want a dynamic list based on data in a column in a table. And so now I'm going to create a dynamic list. and this will be the teams list and then you have to enter in some code this is SQL the structured query language and in this situation for this first one I have provided code I'm going to copy it in so this says select team name and has a column alias of D and then team ID and column alias of R from the table teams and order by the first column which is team name. This is the display field that you will see in the list. The second field is the return value and that must be the primary key value that you're going to pass to the foreign key field in the related table. So go ahead and click create list of values Now let's go to back to the application and let's find our student uh, form and just to run it to remind you. I want to add a combo list or drop down list that looks like what we have for major. So I want to select the page item tied to that foreign key field for team ID. And so I double click on this or I can right click and select edit. When I do that, I now am looking at a page of properties for that page or that item on that page. 
and I want to go from text field to select list. When I do that, I will have the option of picking an existing list or creating one. So remember that these tabs simply show the sexual sections that you can scroll down through and I'm going to pick my team list and then I think it's very important to display null value. If you don't do that then the first item in the list will show up in that uh, page item on the form so it gives the appearance of that having already been selected so I almost always pick this and say yes and then just give it some blank kind of character something generic that will signal that this has not been assigned so I'm going to apply that change run the page and now this person has already been assigned to system designers. Let me go back to the list and I'm going to select Carla Sanchez. And now I see because I display this, uh, the two dashes for the null value, then I can see that I could assign her to a team still that she has not been assigned. I'm going to go back to the application and back to shared components and then go to the list of values. I provided the code for the first list. Now we'll have uh, Apex help us create that code. So I click Create from scratch. This will be list of projects or project list. And it'll be dynamic. It'll be based on a column and a table. If I click this link I'm going to have a couple of pages that walk me through creating the list of values. So for this schema, our default or parse as schema, I want to select projects. And then it's very important not to get these confused. What do you want to show in the list? The display. That would be the project name. What do you want to return? That would be the primary key value, project ID click next it says are you ready to finish it shows you the code and you click finish it brings it back to this screen having inserted the code now you click create list of values I go back to my application I can run it now I want to select the team tab pick one of the teams none of them have a project assigned at this point I'm going to edit this and edit the page and then I will uh, select project ID. I double click that one instead of the right click and then I want to do a select list. Go to my list of values. Get my list of projects. Now just to show you I'm going to say display null value, leave it as no and apply my changes and click run then it looks like I've already assigned a project but I have not it we're only seeing what's at the top of the list so I can edit that if I forget go back in scroll down or I'm already there I could uh, scroll down to my list of values and change this edit it and say display null value yes apply changes and I run and now I see that nothing has been assigned yet but I do see the list of projects in the next video, we'll take a look at how to display hidden fields in a form.